This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and as usual, I'm never here alone. I'm here with Ewa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshankaya. Hey, guys. Gang, gang. Hi. How you What's doing? Poppin'? I'm all right. I'm good. Red, Why are you red. trying to twin with me? No, you know where your me, love lies. Me, so is what exactly is going on? Know. Can you try to wear what you're doing? She's not blue this morning, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. She's not blue this morning, so I don't know why you're blue and gloomy. Come on, man. It's all love out here, man. Like, oh, come well. on, man. If you're not showing love, come on. What are we? What are we I'm all blue about? And I'm what happy. kind of what kind of relationship mm -hmm. are you two into? Because this minute you're this good. The next minute, and I'm done. Yeah, it was very toxic. Very, very, very toxic. I feel like showing up on you, like, oh, uh, I can't cope. Yeah. I'm done. This is why I, I love being you. single because this drama. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's start with um, Nigerian singer Small Doctor, who got really furious after a man bashed his Porsche at Lagos Airport. The man who hit um, the car was allegedly at fault but was not remorseful, and this angered the singer the more. He, ha he was, however, pacified by onlookers and passers by. So, um, if this ha story has happened the way it was told, I'm sure I can even imagine if you're in this situation. <laughs> like you are at fault. And you're I am not remorseful. I ah, we died in the end. No, thing. Ewa has seen me when I'm at fault and she knows I'm remorseful. Ife is always humble. Like I'm like, is this <laughs> no, you? No, but I'm not <laughs> saying if Ife is not at fault. Then someone bash and the person is not remorseful. What do you think will happen? <laughs> the movie will not end. <laughs> if I I'll, probably, I'll probably get a new car. From you the know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not even repairing it. I can't even take this. He's not remorseful. I know I felt the point. He's not even remorseful. Oh my god. If you're not happy, can you just say sorry? Can, yeah. I've seen someone do this in front of me. I just need you to say sorry. You would think that sorry, mm. if he does not hear the sorry that he's going to die. I need you to say no, sorry. No, but you know sometimes you and just need that refused. person to he said, say sorry. Like, just let everybody know that you're wrong. And I don't know how people have that mind. You've mm. done something very wrong. Mm -hmm. And you will still stand and be shouting, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Police can come and arrest both of us here and you'll be the one at fault. You'll yeah. repair my car. And if you can tell me just sorry, I can let you go. But that day, the aggressiveness on the guy's side was just scary. At some point, it was like, ah, come on, so sorry, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> like, the sorry was going to fix the car. I just, just say the word sorry. sorry. Just say, I am sorry. And I will let this go right now. But well, anyway, small doctor. I don't think the scratch was so bad. I didn't Did you, even see yeah, it. From the video, I don't, I don't know if it is. I at think he just wanted that person to admit, admit that yeah, I was, was wrong, wrong mm -hmm. and I'm sorry. I'm mm -hmm. going to relate it back to Bob Risky and the guy who bashed it um, mm -hmm. Range Rover. And now the guy was um, unapologetic and even attacked Bob Risky. I'm not the biggest fan of... I'm, in fact, I'm not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's even start with that. I'm not even a fan of Bob Risky to start with, but... Um, we saw what happened, and then when I saw the video, I was even part of the people calling for justice. That okay, mm. this guy should be, even though it's wrong for you to be dressed like a lady when you're a man, because when you um, see his interview with Daddy Free, girl, like he thought he was he, he was a woman. Mm. That he not even knew it was man to man. Meaning, if he had known that it was man to man, he would have been more aggressive. So, which is why I was saying that okay, that guy is naturally. Would have been more aggressive, or he wouldn't have reacted that way. No, he would have been more aggressive if he was if he knew it was man to man. Yeah, let's throw blue now. You understand? Mm. But, but because it was a woman, he what felt... the man did was not it was... even accepted. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. That, that... Is a woman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that also, look. If, uh, it is not wrong to dress like a woman. You. Know? It's it not is... wrong. It's your choice. They call them cross dressers. No, in Nigeria, it is wrong. And if you know, you're talking a about fashion, the West, the there's world, there's a fashion okay. whereby a guy can actually wear something like a wrapper or a skirt. And that's in um in Scotland, not in Nigeria. It's fashion. You can decide to wear it. It's Scotland. In part, it's even part of their culture. It's not just fashion. But this is not Scotland. Darling, this That's is what I'm Nigeria. saying. Like, it's already. Do you know how Igbo men dress? Yeah. And that's rapper now. Like, mm. we know about the whole culture thing. You're I'm not dressed. You're not dressed. You're not dressed, you're not dressed like a woman. You're not dressed case. like a woman in that case because you still have the male top. Let's, not go there. Make Let's bring it back. Mm. To All right. So, um, back to this whole small doctor thing. Of course, if someone bashed my car, and you're unapologetic, or you're not even being remorseful, and you still want to claim. Um, right. I'm right mm -hmm. when you are clearly wrong. Of course, I'll be furious as well. Right. So um, I think this just made the news because it's small doctor because this has happened to me too and I've been furious. I didn't see it in the headlines. Come on, man. What what you guys doing, man? It's coming. Hmm? Mm. It's coming. They'll, still it's put coming. It. They'll put it up. Mm. It's loading. I like you. You believe in me. That's why our love will last forever. 
It's lasting again. We're back in love. Well. I know how to win a heart back, don't worry. I'll act like you didn't break my act. <laughs> 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 All right, moving on to the next story. John Singleton Estate settles old baby boy audit for over $500,000. According to court documents obtained by TMZ, Sony Pictures has agreed to pay a little more than a half a million to the late director's film company, New Deal Productions. Based on the documents, it appears John had requested a formal audit for money for money the film made a while back, and now in wake of his death, Sony is settling up. The company says the settlement was agreed to prior to John's death in April. Mm. All right, so John Singleton is one of the um, legendary filmmakers in America. He did the whole Baby Boy, and I don't know if you guys have seen the Baby Boy. I have a favorite scene from Baby Boy, mm -hmm. and um, I guess you can all guess what my favorite scene in Baby Boy is. It had to do with somebody carrying somebody and jumping around the room. Mm. Mm. For those of you that have seen it, you probably know that scene, and you're laughing, you're... Mm. Okay. Why are you shaking your head? Do you know that scene I'm talking about? You know? Your head is meant to be shaked. Mm. Mm. <laughs> SMH. Well, All right, so back to the story. John Singleton, after his death, you won the 500K um, from Sony Music, and it's being split um, with Sony Music and one other um, production company. I don't know what I, I don't know um, what for exactly. I think it's part of a, a breach of contract or something. But what I'm trying to understand is why is he getting 35K? Because I think if he was alive, he would be getting way more than 35K. Mm. Even though his um, estate has been split already by his family members, but they say too much money is never enough, enough money, right? Mm. So $35,000 is still a lot of money. Is it $35,000? Yes, $35,000 is still a lot of money. Is it what and he's getting from the 500000 Yeah, from the five hundred, which okay. is why I'm worried, because I think if he was alive, he would be getting Gen way more. more than that, unless mm. um, there's certain clauses in his contract that stipulates that, okay, you're getting XX um, percentage That's from this. what's happening. Yeah, so let's see how this goes. Yeah. And uh, I'm happy for him that even in his debt, he's still making a whole lot of money, and that's good news, basically. Mm. Do you want to say anything? Nope. <laughs> All right, it's time for a quick break. But when we return, we definitely have more stories to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling all right. Minimal are you? Mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. Mr. Easy openly admits his girlfriend, Temi Otadola, has finished him. Now, according to Temi, on their second date, Mr. Easy made her watch a YouTube video of or for two straight hours of one of his favorite music acts of all time, Andrea Brocoli. Is it Brocoli? Yeah. He seems to be a diehard fan of Andrea Brocoli that he listened to his song before embarking on it's the tour. It's Brocoli. And um, even when sick. Tammy made her boyfriend's um, wish come through as she surprised him with a ticket to see Andrea Brocoli's live concert. Mr. Easy replied saying, I remember I was so sick about to go on tour and I played his song nonstop. Thank you so much for... Thank you so much, my love, for an unforgettable experience. You don't finish me. So, of course, the blogger decided to take the you don't finish me part. Love this sweet So, to the pronunciation of the name, I think it depends on what um, tongue you want to pronounce it in, whether it's from where he is from or you want to do it the English way and all that. It's just really confusing. It's Italian, so broccoli is just um, the most appropriate no. one for an Italian. Well, <laughs> I think he has to tell us how to pronounce his own name, but yeah. Love this sweet though. Money, Money enter. enter. I love the sweeter. That's just it. I mean, it's just a fact. Mm -hmm. It's a known fact. When there's money, mm -hmm. love will just flow. Mm -hmm. People do amazing things, interesting things. You explore the world together. I 
can't wait to make so much money and travel the world with the love of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for them, you know, because they've been together for quite a very long time. And I think three years now. Three right? years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, when, when the news broke out, everybody was like, mm, it will soon end, a celebrity relationship. I mean, from what I've been saying, this one is real and it's genuine. Mm -hmm. I'm happy for the both of them. Um, in this particular case, I don't even want to look at it from the love angle. I'm looking at it from a supportive spouse angle. Because mm -hmm. if you have a supportive girlfriend, not every girl will sit down and watch you sit down on YouTube and be watching Oprah of Andrew Broccoli. I think I'll sleep off if I if you were my girlfriend and you're playing that. But I have to be no, really. You just said not everybody, not uh, mm. you use the girlfriend now, so it's not just about ladies. If no, 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 no. In this case, it's about yeah. In this case, it's about the guy playing it. I'm saying if it's the girl playing it to me, I'll probably sleep off. Okay. So now this is the guy playing it. That's what I'm saying. That I think I'll probably sleep off. But I really have to be supportive of your craft to pretend like I'm not sleeping even when I'm sleeping. Do you understand? So I think um, that is just um, Tammy showing a supportive side of his craft because as a creative you get to listen to all kinds of music just to get inspiration you listen to world music you listen to um classical music you listen to um opera music you listen to whatever whatever inspired you at that point and it was said that it was at the point where it was um not at his best or at his um it was down at that period and then she was really supportive and she listened to that and then three years down the line that was her second date actually mm. and then three years down the line she decides to get him a ticket to go see him live because it was on and on about um if i have to see anybody performing live then it has to be this guy and then she got him a ticket so i think this is something that every um body in a relationship should look forward to that it's not about money it's not about what you can do it's about this time they are even watching it on youtube how much is that like people can watch that anywhere you mm. get yeah, it's just for me to have unlimited subscription for me to watch that. So it's not even about the money. To have <laughs> <laughs> How much money do I really need? As long as I have a job. You I'm... can afford it. It's not everybody that can afford the unlimited subscription. Um, well, I think um, there's a network subs um, subscriber that is giving you um, 200, for 200 naira, you get about 70 gig subscription. 200, 200 naira. Yeah, for 200 naira to watch YouTube alone. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You know, so that YouTube. You face, <laughs> you face <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> but so, I think that's a good one because there's so many learning mm, tutorial videos on um, YouTube, YouTube for people. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good one. Yeah, so. At the end of the day, I just think um, Timmy is a very supportive girlfriend, and um, that's why she would stick around mm. and still get him a ticket. So, but at the end of the day, for you to get a live um, concert ticket to see Andre is a lot of money. So, mm -hmm. or let, let's assume it's a lot of money because I really don't know. Hypothetically speaking, we it's don't have a lot to assume money. it is a lot of money. Okay. Why? Why do you but, think so? It's probably um, like hundred dollars or something. That's not a lot of money. Oh, I think it's more expensive than hundred dollars. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I'm saying that it's more expensive than, than $100. hundred dollars. Couple mm -hmm. for you a couple You have to take it to the <laughs> For a fact. But I yeah, want to say $100. that right, um, you said something about supporting your spouse and all that. I understand that, but I also want to take it from the angle of um, being. It's like if I, it's basically like, what are you going to say? No, no, this, no, no, no. Okay, no, no. I think it's from an angle of um, being in a relationship with someone who aligns with your interests mm. to a certain level. So. Yeah. The fact that you play this type of song to a certain person and the person, even if this person pretends, like mm. you said, to be interested because they love you, how long will they pretend for? This was their second date, remember? Yeah, so how long will they pretend for, right? And I think it's just nice to know, it's not like you're going to be perfectly the same with whoever you're going to call a partner, but mm. there needs to be a level of alignment in the things you, your values, your interests, mm. how you want to live your lives. Your it's goals. not, there's going to be compromises and all that, but there needs to be an alignment. And then for how much it costs or whatever it is, I don't think it's about the money. I think it's the, the thoughts intention. that went behind mm. it. I think we talked about this in our previous episode where it's gotten to a point where you don't even know what to get for your partner anymore. So what matters is now the thought and the intentions and mm. what you took note of. So it takes a very sensitive and attentive partner to remember and know that this is what um, my man likes or what my woman likes and I have the opportunity to get this ticket now and mm. I can get, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't even have to be a hundred dollar. It could be mm. whatever cheap amount it is. Mm. And also I made a mental note to add this to, I don't know why 
Okay, when we watch Hollywood movies, right, and then you see a girl will be like, oh, I got something for you, it's a surprise, and then they open it, it's tickets to go and see football or go and watch um, um, concerts like this. Mm. But over here, like getting, I don't know if we see oh, getting a movie ticket as romantic, not even movie tickets now, like maybe whiskey display and you get it for somebody. Do they really appreciate it as something huge? I'm, I don't know. I'm just I think asking. it depends, like you said, it depends on the person you're with. Mm -hmm. Some people would... If you get me a ticket to the video show, I mm. mean, I would love it. Okay. Do you get? Mm -hmm. But if you get somebody else a ticket to, even if it's their favorite artist, I mean, they don't want to go. They really don't care. Mm. It depends on the person, oh, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to add to that? Nope, nope, nope. I just think, if, uh, man, think in, this, yourself, in, this part, in this in in this, in this, this part of the world, man, it's how romantic you can be. Sometimes it's not about who you're with. It's about... Trying to make them understand your personality, and if they've fallen in love with your personality, um, they should be able to accept anything you give to them. So and sometimes you know, I just give my girlfriend a peck, and she's like, "Oh, so sweet." Baby. It should be and sweet. Then, that, exactly why people are celibate. My <laughs> <laughs> There are some people you will give that peck that will have a problem with it. Like, hold on, babe. Don't that worry. is not my problem. You, know, you need to know how to maneuver a woman's heart. It's a very complicated sport. So it's like a maze. You need to go from left to right to left to right to left to get to the G spot. If you're not even getting it right, who's deceiving you? Mm. I'm not getting it right. Moving on to the <laughs> Oh Lord, story. she just shaded me and you're going to let her move on. Yes, we're are you going to do that? Yes, we're moving on. So I don't get it right. We're moving on. If I... You're in trouble tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Moving get on, it right. Michael Che has <laughs> been accused of being transphobic after Miss Gendry Caitlyn Jenner. He came under fire by referring to Caitlyn by her old name and calling her fella during the segment on Weekend Update. Here is what he said, and I quote. Now, you think that I'm crazy, but after five years ago, but about five years ago, there was a fella named Bruce Jenner and he moved to Calabasas. <laughs> End of quote. Also, um, before we discuss this, let's note that referring to a transgender by their birth name rather than their own chosen name is widely advised against by advocacy groups and has been equated to invasion of privacy. This practice is sometimes um, referred to as dead naming. Mm. Yes, so say you're invading their privacy. Idris Okunleye. No, 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 he's on. He has not come out to say his no, name. No, 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 no. Idris Okunleye, right? Okun That's it. Okunleye. I think it's Okunleye. It it never, it's not there. No care involved. <laughs> Please don't even try it. I care yet. No, it cannot be Idris <laughs> Okun care yet. Don't even try that. It's Okun lay yet, Okun share yet, Okun. Please, not, let's not bring Bob Risky into this. I'm this bringing Bob Risky no, into it. No, this is way different. Bob Risky is not even on this level. I'm bringing Bob so, Risky into Michael it because Chay. I'm getting to a point. So you're always getting to a point. Yes, to a point. yes, yes, I'm mm. getting to a point. If Idris comes out tomorrow to tell me that, oh, now nah, I'm a woman, I have. Boobs. I don't have a manhood anymore. I don't have a. Do you understand? Mm. And I see him on the road. I'll still be like Idris. If he changes his name to Jennifer, do you understand? Whatever he changes, I'll still refer to him as Idris in this part of the world. But it's over there where you have this transphobic, and then we have all this, um, um, what's it called? Age phobic. You have a lot of um, trans everything going on right now. And it's very confusing because um, I think we're giving too much leverage to those people. Because if you really want to change your sex from a man to a woman or from a woman to a man, and if I, if I am somebody that has history with you, that I've known you from childbirth, you can tell me what to call you. No, the fact that you Don't tell have me. had history mm -hmm. and you're friends with this person, you should, you should I, I, be able I to respect their wishes and opinion and whatever they want for themselves. Yes, That's but one. if in my and subconscious secondly, I decide to call you by you your government decide. name. You no, okay, decide. that's what I said in my subconscious, or I call you by your government name. It's not a problem. Okay, so, so I don't think this guy should be coming under a lot, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I don't think this guy should be coming under a lot of fire because he said this, there was a fella. He said there was, that is, it was a past tense, mm -hmm. right, that moved to Calabasas. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Now, this is something that you are referring to somebody in the past tense. You're not referring to them in their present tense. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So don't, come, don't give this guy a lot of fire. I just think it's in America where you give a lot of room or it's in wherever that you give a lot of room for stuff like this to happen. But out here... It's not part of my culture, so okay. I'm sorry. I think I'm transphobic. Um, for me, sorry, before you come in, um, 
I wanted to say that I agree to what you're saying from when you started analyzing what he actually said. Uh, because what he said was in past tense. Mm -hmm. He wasn't talking about Present. she now, yeah. right? And we also should note that this is not coming from Caitlin, right? That's mm -hmm. coming now. Mm -hmm. It's coming, coming from, from the um, human rights activists human and all human everything. They are fighting. She has not come out to say I felt some type That's of way. That's why I feel like and I don't the think thing Michael be, said anything. Somebody should bad. ask him. Like um, Caitlyn herself now. That if she has a how, problem, ah, ah. <laughs> if before has, you come on that yeah, fire, yeah. If she has a problem with what he said, mm -hmm. do you get? And I feel like if he has a problem, if she has a problem with it, then we should strip him off all his gold medal for the men um, sports. Hmm. Why? Because that was past because that was past life. tense. If he doesn't want to if he do, identify if I, with that, that past his life. Yeah, anymore, I mean we should strip that's it what up. She's trying to say that, you know? Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were talking about no, no, um, no, no. Che. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't even see anything like um, transphobia in everything he said because mm. he was talking about the him past. then, not um, the now. are now. So people, I feel people are just being too sensitive, and mm. it's really, to be honest, I'm getting tired of it. Mm. Just any small thing, people are already picking on something and picking. And out I think something. he responded. He said, "So, what do you think I'm afraid of? Because they're saying he's transphobic. How do you know he's afraid? Mm. And afraid of what exactly? Right? So, I mean, I think people are just getting too touchy, even when they are not the ones involved. Mm -hmm. So they, they need twisted to, all to, to you know, make things, get attention. Sometimes, basically." I don't see anything wrong in what he said. He was trying to talk about that person in the past, mm. not the new person now. And I'm sure that um, the person involved does not have any problem with it. Yeah, I mean, he can't even... Have, sorry, she can't <laughs> have a problem with it because it's so it difficult. is how, Do you know how long... Probably this was what happened to him. No, he was no, 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 no. He, he, he wasn't, knew what he, he was, knew doing, what he was because saying. Because he said actually. in past tense, he, was, he used words. He was talking about her before life, mm, not after life mm. now. So, I mean, you've spent, you spent almost... Her before life. I think about 40 years <laughs> yeah, as a man, nah. right? <laughs> More than 40 mm, years as a man mm, or thereabouts. You, that cannot be thrown away. You've achieved some things... As a Being man. a man, right? So it is part of your history, whether you like it or not. Mm. So I think there will be a problem, or we will have a problem with someone who comes out to address her as him now when she has categorically come out to say, this is the gender I identify mm. with. She's done the press statement. Even media houses has accepted that she's a woman, right? So it, that will be where the problem is. But we are talking about what she did. Mm, but I want to touch on something um, he first said, and mm. I think I will agree with him that not like totally agree because I know he is so homophobic. But uh, no, no, like... no, 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 <laughs> don't say that. I'm not homophobic. Mm. I'm not against um, gay people or lesbians mm. or whatever or transgenders or whatever you want to be. Be yourself. Do you understand? But I'm talking about maybe when I get to America, when I get to London. You understand? Mm. But. As far as my culture is concerned, I'm going to preserve the African culture. What is and your culture about? Gay, lesbianism, transgenders are not part of the African culture. What's the African so, no, culture? No, no, no. If uh, do you what know that actually, you're actually going, going by the Bible, not the African I'm not going culture. No. If you're what do you mean I'm not going by the African culture? Okay, 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 okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's say, let's let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, forget the culture. I'm going by the law. Okay. You have changed your mouth. So yeah, yeah. But anyway, wow, wow. Either ways, I'm winning. You're not winning. Okay. But it's fine. My point. All I do is win, 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 no matter no, what. Point. <laughs> My point is, I think that people are really trying to add to like confuse other people in the sense that you're trying to identify as something that we don't see you as, but you want us to now see you as that thing, and it's already getting because. Um, there's been like this space that is allowing people to keep doing that. That's it. You see a lot of people coming out say they want to identify as a cat and people have to treat them like a cat. You want to identify as a goat and people have to treat them like goats. I mean, they go to, um, as far as doing surgeries to look like a cat, to look like a goat. And to be honest, I think it's getting really ridiculous. When people were chanting, be your true self, <laughs> let your inner self come out. Their inner self is coming out now, you're not happy. Please, let's not stay on this topic because <laughs> I don't want us to be in a position where we are being insensitive to how mm -mm, people feel. No, no, so let's no, move no. on to the next story, which is on mercy. Yeah, go to. Um, <laughs> Let's off. move on to the next story, which is on Messi, who sends official apology letter to fans who were locked out during her party. So apparently she had a party on Saturday. I, I mean, I'm just hearing about this. Yeah. Friday, Saturday or I think Friday. it was Saturday, something about her. Is it her welcome home party? Okay, Sunday, 
Um, it was just a party to celebrate her, right? And her wins. I mean, the girl is cashing out now. Like, mm. I'm brand ambassador, left, right, center. She has, like, a new duplex. She has a new car. She has $10,000 cash win. Aside the Big Brother mm, money, mm, 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 I'm mm. so happy for Messi right now. And somebody will say Big Brother is not a good platform. I don't it understand it. <laughs> <platform. laughs> Why would but, somebody say that? Uh, yeah, but... Um, Have you guys had a big sister? Okay. Um, You've not had a big sister? It's taking place in Sierra Leone. You're uh, inviting um, other African ladies to, um, like from Mozambique, from um, Ghana, from um, other African, West African, Nigeria, from other West African countries. And they're putting out a show, and it's called Big Sister. It's just ladies in the house, and I think it's for about $50,000. And uh, yeah, mm. so I think it's something we should look forward to as well. So. Mm. Wow, I wonder That's how that will go. So, but guys can be in the house or just no, ladies? No, just ladies. It's called Big Sister, just for the sisters. Hmm. Oh, okay. My, my mind is running. Hey, I also is thinking of going. <laughs> okay. I see okay. that. Okay. Well, let's come back to Messi. So, <laughs> so she Messi. apologized to our fans. So they went, they went to social media to um, share their displeasure that mm -hmm. they couldn't get into the venue. And she's saying that she didn't have an idea that there were people outside and that she's planning to make it up to them. So I'm expecting a get-together soon. Mm, or a meet, meet and or whatever it is. Yeah. I think she has done well to come and address the issue. I mean, if she ignores, nobody's going to alter. But she understands that her fan base is really strong and to keep them outside is very bad. And most of the time, it's not these people's fault. People in charge need to understand that there has to be this kind. You can't go against their fan for them, to be honest, because those are the people that are actually keeping them out there is because of a fan base that's why she's getting endorsements yeah, and all of that so if you keep cutting them out I and mean, you know how nigerians can be they are quick to switch mm. do you get so to titans i mean <laughs> <laughs> they are quick to switch and I, I like that she's she's come out to address this issue mm. and i hope her fans will forgive her like you said, we'll be expecting a get together soon. Mm. Like and sometimes, and too, when you're doing this event, sometimes they tell you it's better to have a venue that will be filled up and mm. you have more people outside and going to rent the stadium and the so called mercenaries don't show up and then you feel like you had an event that didn't go well, right? So, mm. whatever it is, they'll be fine. And I think, and like you said, um, the location really matters because there's some location that already has their rules and regulations. Regulation. So when people are coming in, they don't care what they are coming for. Their point is, the rule says, ladies alone can enter this place at this time. Mm. You have to come with a partner. I mean, mm. you have a lot of locations like that mm. on the island. And all right, we need to wrap up right now. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can always catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ewa Witu and the Fairly Wash okay? and of course the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and please let your real self come out.